I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this version, look for information in the video description below so you can learn the fundamentals and download this player reference. All the scoring elements are in here. 81. This is why I like to do random pulls. It helps me memorize these scoring elements and train myself to identify the potential in a drawn hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round. We're going to start with East Round. I'm going to roll these dice to determine which seat we're in for the exercise. I rolled a nine, so we're going to be player one. We'll start with 14 tiles and see if we can identify some scoring elements. We need eight points out of these tiles. Eight point minimum for Mahjong competition rules. Whoops. Okay, now we have more dots by one tile than BAMs. So we have a mixture of tiles. We do have some repeating tiles, two, three, two, three, four, and four. There is potential here for mixed triple chow. There's also shift, mixed shifted chows. Mixed shifted chows is not as valuable as mixed triple chow. Mixed triple chow is when you have the same chow in three suits, two, three, four. Mixed shifted chows is number 51. That's when you have three chows, one in each suit, each shifted one up from the last. That is six fawn. We have a potential for one, two, three, two, three, four, four, five, six. I believe that would qualify. And then we would need two more fawn elsewhere. We are in east seat. We do have a dragon and we do have two terminals. We could maybe do terminal pungs. Oh, we have another one here. We have three terminals and a dragon. Terminal pungs would be one fawn. That's not enough. Because here we have one, two, three blocks. We would only be able to get one more block for value. And that's, I think, where this is going to come in. If we could pair up and pung the dragon, I think we could make mix shifted chows work as a plan B if mixed triple chow does not come in. Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. I think that's what I would try to push for. So I think I would discard these and then maybe this. If you would play something different here, let me know. We're going to do south round. This time we're going to be two, four, six, eight, ten would be south. South. This is going to be a challenge, maybe, 
three, three, three of each suit. We do have a pair of our own seat. Wind, south, no, yeah, south, south round, south seat. So we could get four fawn if we could pung here because if you get the prevalent wind, number 60, that's two fawn. If you get your seat wind, that's number 61, two fawn. If we could pung here, that's four fawn. So the rest of this hand, these are valued honors. Actually, the red dragon, this not so much because we're in south seat and it's south round. So that won't bring value, but the dragon could, if we could pair up and pung. We could maybe do three, four, five, mix triple chow. I think that's what I would try to do here. Mix triple chow, three, four, five in each suit with a pung of the seat wind and prevalent wind. Let me know if you would do something different with these tiles. West round. I rolled a five. That would be east. 14 tiles. We have a pair of north, single dragons, four cracks, two, three dots, and four bams. 14 tiles. What can we do with these tiles? I was thinking maybe we could do knitted Lesser honors and knitted tiles. Number 34, 12 fawn, three, six, nine, two, five, eight, one, four, seven. The number tiles are pretty light. And then we have three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not a lot. Eight, I think 10 tiles would be better. I don't think I would try that. 10 tiles would be better. Let's see, what else? We have six, seven, six, eight, six, eight. Mix triple chow. What about, what about um, upper four, six through nine? We would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven discards. I think mix triple chow is what I would try here. Mix triple chow, 41, eight fawn. Pung the north, pair up and pung maybe these dragons. We could chow, 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 ready to chow. We still need a pair. I suppose the north could be a pair. These are all isolated tiles though. So what to discard? Since we have a pair of north, I think I would discard the dragons, the single dragons, and focus on number tiles for efficiency. Try to get more chows, because right now we only have three blocks. And then and a pair. We need another chow in here, or a pung, or a pair, because we could pung here and then pair up any one of these. So I would discard these first. Go for a mixed triple chow. And again, that is number forty-one. Three chows in the same suit. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight.
north round. I rolled a six. That would be player two. Thirteen tiles. We got a flower. The numbers don't matter for Mahjong competition rules. Any flower is, is a point, but they're bonus. So you do not count those in your minimum score. We need eight points. We do get a replacement towel though. So we have more dots than we do the other two suits. Three, three, five. So, what to play here? Two, three, seven, one, seven, nine, one, two, three. I think what I would try here is outside hand and a Pung of Dragons, maybe. That's kind of a long shot, though. So, maybe mix triple chow, one, two, three, on top of that outside hand. So I would hold all honors, ones, nines, two, three, seven, eight. So let me just read that. That is number 55. Four puns or chows in a pair where each set has terminals or honors. Honors are wins and dragons. Outside hand is four fawn, so it's not enough on its own. That's why I was thinking mixed triple chow with one, two, three, because there's a one in each block. So we would need a one, two, three here, one, two, three here. We've got a one, two, three there. We would have to discard the six dot, collect one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. We could chow here. So this would be one, two, three, four blocks. We would need a pair in here. If one, two, three mixed triple chow works, that would be where we get our other score. Number 41, eight fawn. outside hand. One thing we could do is discard the honors. No honors is a fawn. Pair up the one or nine and do a terminal pung. So that would be another two fawn. That's still only six though. So I think mixed triple chow is going to be the key with these tiles. We do have seven, seven, nine, and nine. Depending on how the drawing goes, we could go that way too. So I think that's what I would focus on. There's even an element called terminal chows, two terminal chows. That's only one fawn, but it adds up. Number 72, one, two, three, and seven, eight, nine, and one suit. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Obviously our dots are very light. If you are just learning Mahjong competition rules and you have a set of tiles at home, try random pulls and don't forget to download this player reference. These scoring elements will be key, especially if you want to play online. Speaking of which, if you want to play online at Mahjong time, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you a 30 day VIP code so you can try it out for 30 days. It's a great way to practice. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random posts for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.